I was like skinny. It was terrible. Found out I had cancer. It has to come from your head and it has to come from your heart. You know, cancer, not everybody can fight. And we have so many creatives in Indonesia. We have so much art. We have so much culture and history to, to, to talk about. Tapi kita nggak pernah like elevate all those things. We just look to the West and we copy the West and we try to be like the West. But what about being a little bit proud of where you're from? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo. Jadi sebenarnya Oji tuh gue udah kenalnya pas dia masih umur 7 lah, delapan. Iya, 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 Mungkin bisa diceritain nih um, tujuannya apa, kenapa namanya Ageless Galaxy, you know, just just how you guys started as a brand. Tahun berapa? Tahun berapa? Nah, okay. We'll go into that first. Yeah, we're gonna start with that. Oke. Okay. Kayak kalau mulanya tuh sebenarnya 2013 ya. Yeah. 2013 kita mulai, terus habis itu kita itu nggak. Uh, so basically gini, gue sama Tamis mm. tuh pas kita mulai ini. We wanted to have the brand first. Jadi pengen punya brand dulu, yeah. pengen punya produknya. But the thing is, we don't have any money hmm. to start the brand. Kan karena lo ada produksi apa juga. Yeah. It's like purely like we don't have any money. Hmm. Jadi as a company, kita awal mulanya itu kita uh, we do design for other people. We run a creative agency jadinya. Oke. Okay. Gitu. Jadi mulai dari situ. Kita mulai dari creative agency. Kita dapat klien. Kita dapat duitnya. Terus habis itu kita bagi for us. Habis itu kita sisanya kita sisain buat brand lah. Oke. Okay. Gitu. Jadi buat company-nya ada, buat company-nya okay. ada, buat company-nya ada kayak gitu. Nah setahun kayak gitu, um, akhirnya kita ada collection pertama setelah hmm. tahun kayak gitu. Ini ya, 2014 pertama. berarti. 2014 yeah. berarti ya. Jadi company-nya 2013, brand-nya 2014. Hmm. Gitu. Nah mulanya itu dari situ. And then punya kantor, punya apa, dan hire orang apa segala-gala, just keep it rolling gitu dan creative side-nya juga nggak kita buang sampai sekarang gitu we still like to do it karena it gives us like apa ya um, more depth on how to approach the brand yeah exactly, it's more on that gitu jadi kayak lebih ada apa ya But we, do, we don't get bored, we just thinking about uh, just what our brand is doing gitu yeah. kalau mm-hmm. kadang-kadang you need like more inspiration you need like seeing Again, karena ini kreatif industri, jadi we're dealing with macam-macam industri kan, yeah. gitu. Because we're doing like branding and all that kind of stuff. Kan, we deal with F&B, kita sama kayak bank, kita yeah. sama kayak apa namanya, kayak Automobile. brand, ya mobil, apa yeah. segala-gala gitu-gitu. Jadi kayak kita ada ada apa ya, dapat insight kayak how the other industries work basically, yeah. gitu. And it actually helps with the growth of our brand, of our company, gitu. Mm. Yeah. So that's how it started up until now. Terus visi misinya, I don't know, we just want to do it, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and we just want to be known internationally. That's that's what we want sebenarnya. Yeah. Gitu aja. We want to be that brand from Jakarta that everybody knows. Okay. Sebenarnya itu. That's the main thing. Gitu. From you? Yeah. So he pretty much uh, summarized it. But yeah. Um, so if we talk about like the name Asia's Galaxy. Yeah. The the way that derived was. To be honest, when I was talking to you earlier about like how it started, uh, I was in I was studying in Vancouver at the time, and uh, during my final year of school, um, I had the op- opportunity to do like uh, you know they said that you could do anything related to branding, you mm-hmm. know, brand a company, brand it. So that was like the case study that you had to do, right? I was following brands like Benny Gold, like Jeff Staples, yep. uh, you know, um, Undefeated, yep. Crooks, Crooks and Castle. Yeah, you know, like like the, b- back then there was yeah. like all these brands coming in together, and there was like that wave of streetwear that just mm. started to yep. to 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 come out, right? Mm. And I was in the middle of all that, like in Vancouver, all these brands were just you know like starting to pop, you know, and. Um, so yeah, and I, you know, just I n- never used to follow these brands because it was just a part of like the hype. 
for me, it was, I always looked at it at, from a graphic designer point of view, you know what I mean? And I, and that was it, you know, I was, I was just very heavy into like logo designs and, and type faces and stuff like that. And when, when, and, and I used to follow Benny Gold when he had his first blog, you know, the time yeah. when he used to put stickers around SF yeah. and he was doing all these freelance projects. That's how I was following him. I, I didn't really care so much about the brand until later when the brand became a thing, you yeah. know what I mean? And, and so coming back to that, uh, coming down to like, let's say uh, school and my final year school project, I said, uh, I wanted to to do a, a brand, so it was a fictional brand, obviously at this point, because it's just a concept, right? Yep. And um, I was always a big fan of like sci-fi and space and you know things like that. But at the end of the day, right? Like I was trying to figure out what would be the 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 narrative of the the brand, you know, like how would you communicate the storytelling? And the one thing I realized was. There, uh, there are a lot of these astronauts, you know, like that go to space, and you only know like Neil Armstrong, and you know, there's only like the the guys who have made it. But what about the guys who were part of the team, but nobody yeah. knows about? You know what I mean? So, but they st all had the same drive. They all had that same mentality to 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 achieve greatness. Yeah. You know, and I, and I saw something in that, and that's what I took from. From, from it was that mentality that I felt like that needed to be carried over. Now, so when I was doing the brainstorm session, you know, you go through this mind maps, you do your researching and all. Then I came across this name, Ageless, Ageless Galaxy. Galaxy. And I think uh, the idea behind that name was, um, you know, you as a human being, uh, your time is super limited, right? And the galaxy always continues to live forever. So mm -hmm. in your amount of time, how much greatness can you do and be remembered for it? Because after you pass away, right, whatever you ex your whole purpose in life is for, if you don't actually do something and, and, and feel proud of it and get your peers to respect you and, and love you and, and show be like, man, that guy was such a go good guy. I had so much inspiration based off him that it made me a better person or made you a better person then what's your purpose in life? You know what I mean? And I think that's how, that was the, 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 the way we connected the dots for Asian yeah. Galaxy. Mm. And after school, finished it, I, I got my, eight, my grades, you know, and then I put all this stuff into a file and I left it. After I graduated, you know, I started going on, a, on this experience of like, you know, you just graduated, you want to look for a job, Mm -hmm. Trying to look for a job. At, at this time in Cat and Vancouver, uh, it was a tough time for me. One, it was like during the winter, uh, and I was like trying to apply. And I, I, I have an Indonesian passport, so I'm an Indonesian citizen. Oh, so okay. Orang Indonesia loh, kok? Gue bisa ngomong. Tuh, tulis subtitle panjang nih kok dia tadi. Gue harus bantu juga loh. Tapi gue Filipin sebenarnya. You do look Filipin. No, but 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 like but like just for the as I said in purpose of recording, I feel super kaku when I speak in bahasa. But I'm sure people will understand later. Anyways, so coming back to that, right? You know, I was going through this phase where I was job hunting. I was uh, making enough money just to pay my rent off and you know uh, no studios were ready to accept like um, you know an international you know how that goes with logistics and I, w I was just struggling at, at that point you know and I don't know th it was just like where the universe started like giving me ups and downs of like a lifetime and I was like gila gue udah jauh banget datang ke sini you know spend a lot of money on school you know yeah. but things are just not working out the way i expected it to yeah. yeah and then sadly i went down a left turn where i think the stress and everything got a toll on me and then eventually i fell sick yeah i started losing weight yep. i started um you know coughing a lot and then by the time i realized that you know, I had a talk, uh, sp uh, sp uh, like a call with my mom and dad. I was like, "Can you have doing salad at Disney?" You know what I mean? Like, I felt like I felt like something's not right. You know, and I was sick, but I did not know what I had. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I was, I just thought I was stressed out. You lose weight. You know, yeah. this cough is not leaving. Whatever. You know, and then I spoke to my mom and dad, and I was like, "Whooping in Bali." You know, like I want to come back. 
I want to come back home. You know, I, I miss I miss I miss Jakarta. I just miss being around my family, my friends. You know, and 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 I thought, let me just come back and refigure out. You know, you know, you you just yeah. like let it go. You know, like yeah, you went, you studied, you got your 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 education, whatever. But maybe you just need to go back home and yeah. and reconfigure your life. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. Pas gue balik. You know, my, the first thing my mom uh, and dad picked me up from the airport, and they were like, "What happened to you?" I I went down to 45 kilos Damn. and weight. You know, like just lost everything. I was like skinny. It was terrible. And I don't know. I was telling my parents like, "I don't I don't know what's what's going on. I need to see a doctor and all." And then eventually, we didn't go and see a doctor. And then I found out I had cancer. Yeah. You know, and at that stage, when I found out, I I found out I had stage four cancer. Wow. So. Can you imagine the shit that was going through my head? You know, yeah. I was like, I'm still young and I'm on the verge of dying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, the 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 chance here is if I'm going to survive, can I survive, or am I going to just try to fight this and give up? Right. Yeah. So there was a lot of thinking going on into my head. Yuda. So obviously, Aegis Galaxy was just. As I said, in a folder, and I completely forgot about it. And within these few months, it was just trying to figure out how am I going to get out of this? You know, how am I going to fix myself? Right. So obviously, you see the doctor, get all the protocols. I had to do a, a six months, twelve times chemo uh, protocol, meaning every two weeks I got to go to Singapore, get chemo, come back to Jakarta. Go to Singapore every two weeks. This was my life. You know, I lost my hair. I lost everything. I did all that. <laughs> Now, this is where it got interesting.、Um, you know, cancer. Not everybody can fight. You know what I mean?、Yeah. It has to come from your head, and it has to come from your heart, and it also has to come from the support system that you have. That I found that was very important to me.、Yeah. You know, it was. I used to like to design, so I did stuff that made me happy. You know what I mean? So I don't think about. We're like it's like it, you know what I mean. I think about my outcome is I make dope art,、yeah. you know. I illustrated, I made, I did a lot of graphic design stuff, you know.、Yeah. So I had friends like、um, uh, Rio from Idenim back then,、mm. you know. I was yeah, doing a lot of Rio, graphics. Rio. I, I was doing a lot of graphics for Rio when I was sick, you know. He was just like, "Hey man, can you make some graphics for me?" I was like, "Yeah," and you know, like.、Um, I, I was、uh, I, I reconnected with him and was doing a lot of graphics and it was just like me venting out myself, right? And then you know, like you know, I, I got on a couple of projects and、uh, life was good, but I was battling cancer. You know what I mean?、Yeah. Life was great, but I was sick and I had a terminal illness that gave me either yay or nay. Do I want to survive or not? Right?、Mm. And then eventually,、um, I. Was cleaning my desktop one day, right? And then I found the A A G L X Y folder. You know what I mean?、Yeah. Open this folder up, and I started looking at all the stuff, and I was like, "Man, this is dope!" Like, there was a lot of thinking going on in here. You know, there was a lot. The, the baseline of the concept was there, and there was this motto that I wrote: "Live to strive, strive to live." That was number one. Number two was committed to time. And then I and I started reflecting on that, and I was like, in order for me to survive cancer, I'm gonna have to live the mentality of my brand. You know what I mean?、Yeah. And that's what it was. After that, I just started to live it. The concept of committed to time is, as I said, everyone's time is limited. But in this story, my time is even more limited now, and I'm on a countdown. But if I survive, I bought more time. So how much greatness can you do now? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, I had that mentality all the way, and I had I made it a fucking point that I had to survive stage four cancer, and then that's all I did. I just lived that mentality every fucking day. It's like you know, zero bucks given, whatever it takes. All every fucking day, every chemo treatment. Right. That, that was the mentality. That's one of the quotes on your shirt. Yeah, yeah. Says, that's yeah. What it is here. I got this here as well.、Hmm. So <laughs> now, zero bucks given. Is that on your shirt too? No, no, no that, that's just like the the mentality we live. <laughs> by,、right? And then eventually, I went for my checkups, and I started to notice cancer was shrinking, like by a lot. 
So the thing with what I had is uh, I had Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's where all your lymph nodes in your body swell. Mm -hmm. I'm classified as a stage four because it got into my bones, right? But the good thing about this cancer is there's a 70% survival rate at stage four. So I had all my bets, all my cards in, you know what I mean? I was like, I had to, I had to like make sure that um, fatality is not an option, you know what I mean? So that was it and um, I, I battled it through and then I, I kept doing what I was doing. I, I kept myself happy like all the time and my support system, the friends and everything. And it was around that time when I survived, then I elaborated more and got out more and reconnected. And I knew OG before I went to Canada, like it was when yeah. I was uh, in college. Yeah. So I don't know if you know Louis. Did you know Lewis? Lewis? No. Yeah. So Lewis was my college buddy, and apparently his uh, like, my childhood like childhood oh, buddy yeah. as well. So Lewis one day brought me out to to meet uh, OG, and that's how I connected to OG mm. before I went to Canada. And then when I came back, um, I I always go to Aksara, yeah. like the one in in Kamang, right? Yeah. That was my my haven. You know, I would go there to find my books. I would go there to just like get inspiration or whatever I'm working mm. on. That was like my little space you know what i mean and casa above like mm. i love that joint i'm always there always working on something you know it was like my my second office you know and uh one day i was in the book bookstore and then i ran into og yeah. it was weird because i didn't because jadi sebelum <laughs> dia cabut ke uh, canada masih kuliah gitu gitu kan yeah, yeah. long hair yeah I really, <laughs> crazy I really like long hair. <laughs> like emo rock and roll gitu lah bentuk kayak. <laughs> Terus habis itu pas gue ketemu dia lagi pas dia balik botak hilang semua, enggak punya alis dan lain-lain kayak baru selesai baru beres cancer gitu gue kayak the fuck happened to you man. <laughs> <laughs> and then I and I I laughed and I said, "Yeah, dude, I had cancer." And he's like, "Whatever." I was like, "Seriously, man, look at me." <laughs> you know? And then that was it. Yeah, and then, and then we We and connected then, and then we connected he said like he just said hey i got a barbecue this weekend come out you know what i mean and then we started at hanging his out rooftop. Yeah, yeah at his yeah, rooftop yeah. and um it just became a thing you know and then it was around that time yeah. uh we just hung out more and more and more and then one day i just decided to show him yeah. like so i got this thing you know what i mean this this concept but like i feel like i need another 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 head involved yeah. Yeah. another point of view to make it more you know perfect yeah because right now it's all one direction mm -hmm. right and um and then yeah i told him like would mm -hmm. you be down to 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 partner you know, up partner up and see because he was i've always known him as the money guy you know what i mean <laughs> and and even though i i know how to sell <laughs> and all i just don't like dealing with the money side of things yeah. you know what i mean like i just like to be creative and and yeah. don't get all cluttered at the end of the day yes both are very important because mm -hmm. you gotta yeah. live right yeah it's not in the commerce gun at the yeah. end of the day And Euda Abisito, um, I I told him like, hey, OG, so check this out, think about it, let me know, you know. And then, then he came back to me the next week, and you said, okay, how are we gonna fund this? You know what I mean? Mm. And I looked at him and I said, I have no fucking idea, but I do have a few freelance projects, right? I, I do have a few freelance projects, and just help me manage these projects, and then let's see how that goes. And we take it from there. Okay. And till today, we're just doing the same thing. Yeah. Jadi mulainya dari creative agency, yeah. dari profit itu kalian puterin yeah. untuk brand ini. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And we always said that oh, we might get stop the the creative agency. Tapi apa ya? Okay. It's always been every client I meet, there's a new problem, there's a new there's a new challenge, mm -hmm. you know. And for us, because of that whatever it takes mentality. We're always like, we gotta make this dope, you know. Mm -hmm. We always have to like execute in a way yeah. that like the clients like, he cares about these guys care about my business, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we've always stuck to that trait from day one, and we're like that. Our team has become like that, mm -hmm. and and now that embodies what our brand is about, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah. That's pretty much how the brand came to to existence, mm -hmm. and and now everything that we do is based on that mentality. Like whatever it takes, mm -hmm. yeah. you have to strive. Yeah. You know, committed to time. You know, yeah. things like that. Okay. Terus kan, um, kalau dari gue sendiri, menurut gue uh, the streetwear game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
ada ada banyak lah jalurnya hmm. yang owner ownernya atau pelakunya yang ngejalanin brandnya. Hmm. Kalau yang dari gue lihat, uh, kalau backgroundnya graphic designers, they come up with original designs, yeah. which is which is something I wanna do. I wish I could do. Hmm. Cuma background gue sama Rico kan bukan graphic designer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ada satu lagi yang kerjanya cuma ngeflip ngeflip, which is also part of the game. Kayak yeah, yeah. underground, yeah. they always flip. Terus like ada right now it's chi- Chinatown. Chinatown. Yeah. Yeah. Terus um, salah satu desain terbesar kita juga Jakarta versus Everybody. Sebenarnya kita nggak mau ngeflip ini kok dulu ya. Yeah. Kita bikin yang explicit lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Cuma akhirnya kaos itu laku 60, bikin 100 laku. So, yeah. What the f**k? Like the, uangnya udah mulai yeah, terasa yeah, enak yeah, yeah, tuh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jadi sama gua, sama sama Rico, sama sepupu gua. Okay, we'll just flip it, see what happens. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Terus saya kira kita flip it, ya udah. It's been supporting us till today. Yeah. Yeah, Menurut yeah. kalian itu is it wrong to flip <coughs> or is it better to just make original designs? Or uh, which way is is I, better? I, I think I think there is no better way. It it is as you said. You pick what you're good at and what you can. Mm-hmm. And and there's again there's two types yeah. of people out there, right? One is the designer that who knows like. Like senior, trust me, man. Senior romantics. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, like like I I love Original to f- I I love to flip also. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you don't you haven't flipped anything. Trust me, you don't know. You have to Doesn't really play. really reference yeah, 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 you know what I mean. Yeah, like you I have mean, there's certain things right that we have. I mean, th- there's a thing we take references and then we flip it. Tapi kita ganti as much as we can supaya nggak kelihatan kayak. Original, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. it is. But we, so, but we consider that as like just like taking reference. Yeah, gitu. Kita nggak properly kayak beneran. Okay, cuma ganti apa, ganti apa kayak gitu. Yeah. It's just not how we do it. Karena dari dulu tuh kita selalu kayak, I don't know, we're a bit, I'm not gonna say like haters. Tapi kita kayak, aduh, jangan sekali dia, dia udah ada yang ngerjain gitu. Yeah. Let's do something else gitu. Kita selalu kayak gitu, gitu. And even with our collection, kita juga kayak. Terus, if we start to get lazy, kayak, okay, ini aja, ini jalan nih, this, this, this part sells, and it's, yeah. good, and it's a good graphic, whatever. Tapi, there's always, kalau gue ngomong kayak gitu, dia kan kayak, kita udah pernah. Kalau yeah. dia, dia ngomong kayak gitu, gue udah kayak, kita udah pernah, let's do something else. Yeah. So, so jadi, the, for us, it's always that. Gitu. Yeah, there, there's always like a, there's always a, like a playing tag. Like, if yeah. I slack, he he brings me back up. If he slacks, yeah. I bring him back up. Yeah. Yeah. But, but in terms of the flipping, I love the flipping concept of approaching design. Only if you do it really, really well. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Where if somebody flips something, be like, I know where that's from. Yeah. I know where that reference is from, and that just makes it so dope. You know what yeah. I mean? And and um, I, I I don't mind it, but it's different when like you take it down like and making super bootleg, and it's almost fake. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> You know, like you're using the Nike logo for no reason. Like yeah. you're not allowed to do that. No. You know, it, it's not official yeah. or whatever, right? Yeah. So, so yeah, like there's no right and wrong. But like for us, we've always said that the graphics that we put out, we're going to put a lot of thought into it, and we're going to really take our time to to figure out what are we communicating in every collection. You right. know, that's why. Like I'll give you an example. Our next drop is Pod 10, yeah. right? Which is in like next month, uh, this month. Yeah, July 28. Yeah, and uh, for Pod 10 and Pod 11, uh, which is the end of the year, OG and I we found these really interesting graphic design books, which were based on Russian package design from the 19. I don't know. 19. It's, yeah, it's not even Russian. It's like it's USSR. Yeah, it's USSR. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, so you can imagine what design was in that era, in that time, in that space. You know what I mean? And we found these interesting stuff, and we were looking through it, and we we're like, now I became like you. I was, I'm gonna flip that, flip that, flip that, flip that. But you know what I mean? Like, like it was like a gold mine. You know what I mean? And it's something that is long forgotten. You know. Nobody would ever know where the f- we took that from. You know yeah. what I mean? But Tapi you guys still change it a little bit. Of course, yeah, of course. We, we change, change it, it a lot. Even the colors, like we change yeah, okay. it. You know what I mean? But but just taking how their form, their structure, the the way the graphics are portrayed. You know, and then adding us into the mix of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So so things like this is that's why I can't answer and say no. That is wrong or right because. Yeah. You know, um, what is that qu- that saying they say out there? Like, uh, real artists know how to steal properly. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean, or something like that, yeah. right? So I believe in that. You know, as long as you know how to make it yours and own yeah. it, it should be okay. You know. Yeah, I think it's it's more on that. If you can own it and you can make it dope, I think that's fine. Yeah. At the end of the day. 
kayaknya kalau orang-orang sini kesel sama kita karena kita flip hmm. terus kita daftarin copyright itu ya <laughs> jadi <laughs> like ide duluan aja keduluan iya. jadi oh, mereka betul. ngerasain mereka nggak ada space untuk bikin versi kotanya mereka uh, tapi secara legal we had we had to protect we had to protect yeah, yeah, our, our land then, but then you could always say well you should have copyrighted it first yeah, you know but, what I mean you know netizen yeah. you can't really <laughs> so you can you can't please nggak bisa semuanya lah yeah. you know. jadi YouTube channel Urban kan sudah mengundang berbagai macam pelaku industri clothing juga. Yeah. Terus juga Urban sering ikut bazar di mana di mana. Nah ini ada fakta menarik nih yang kita serap kurang lebih setahun ini. Bahwa memang ternyata di Jakarta khususnya tuh ada pengotak-otakan mm-hmm. area. Mm-hmm. Ini main dengan ini gitu. Terus uh, juga saling nggak suka. Mm. Nah yang paling sedikit tidak nyaman mungkin buat gue pribadi adalah gue nggak mau ada di event itu kalau brand ini ikutan hmm. sering tuh kok kita digituin ya sering <laughs> sering Sat. karena kita ngalamin <laughs> karena kita ngalamin <laughs> gitu dan kita pun tahu hmm. brand apa yang nggak suka hmm. gitu loh nah uh, berita ini nyampe nggak ke kalian dan terus pendapat kalian apa selalu sih dan kalian gitu. di pihak mana? Ah, enggak, enggak. <laughs> Sel- selalu sih kayak gitu. Yeah. tapi I don't know. OG and I are always like at this point right now we're like whatever man, just you know love love all and live happy you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. sebenarnya gini kalau gue mikirnya sih gini kalau kayak masalah beef apa segala-gala gitu ya yeah, that's it's common lah ya. lo nggak suka sama yeah. siapa apa segala-gala. even even in pas kemarin gue berangkat ke Holland juga ada sebuah pengotak-otakan lah. di sini. Ke, Nggak, oh, di sana. Oh, di sana. Ya. So I guess itu di mana-mana kok sebenarnya. Yeah, I guess it's like a thing. Tapi yeah. menurut gua yang the reason kenapa menurut gua di Jakarta itu agak aneh ya. Karena kita scene-nya udah kecil. Hmm. Satu, kita di Jakarta. Ya, kita we in the corner of the world. Kita That's tuh udah true. di pojok banget di dunia adanya di sini. <laughs> ya, the street the streetwear scene itu adanya di US, Europe, whatever no like this. Kita di sini. Jauh banget, ya kan? <laughs> Some Satu people itu. don't even know where Jakarta is. You know itu. what I mean? Satu itu kita udah di sini, jadi kita nggak dilihat sama mereka juga, ya kan? Yeah. And everybody is trying to be, make it there, basically, hmm. right? That's what it is. Everybody wants to be, wants to conquer the world, lah, somewhat, gitu kan? Nah, cuma yang menurut gua konyol adalah, oke, okay, kita udah di pojok sini, kita udah dan kita culture-nya kan kita nggak ada yang kayak kita bisa bareng jadi kita nggak ada culture jalan kan nggak ada kayak apa sama bareng nggak like no. foot path foot path yeah. there's no gitu. walking culture there's no walking culture kan jadi kayak kita tuh nggak bisa nggak ketemu orang lah basically mm-hmm. gitu kalau misalnya gue mau hang out sama lo gue nggak bisa ketemu lo di jalan atau gue dari sekitar sini gue ketemu lo nggak bisa kan there's always pocket in the mall selalu <laughs> pocket gitu gue pengen ketemu sama lo gue datang sini lo pengen ke gue datang datang ke arah gue gitu kan jadi kita udah pocket banget kan kayak gitu So that's like the two issues kalau gue lihat. Yang ketiga, udah udah dengan isu dua itu, semuanya masih kesal-kesal sama yang lain-lain ya, tau lo? Masih benci gitu, masih kayak I hate you, I don't like you, whatever. No, <laughs> <laughs> tapi dari jauh. Iya, <laughs> yeah, tapi dari jauh. <laughs> kayak, kayak, what the f- is the fucking point? <laughs> I mean, gitu lah. Yeah. Gue tuh nggak ngerti banget di situ sebenarnya. Gitu. Which I think if we want, because it takes a village to be to m- work, right? Yeah. yeah. Kalau kita nggak kerjasama, nggak akan jadi. gitu loh, gue ngerasanya kayak gitu dan I think it's just a weird culture aja kita we're hating on each other for no apparent reason yeah. or maybe there is a reason where we don't know about gitu tapi masih gue kayak ya udahlah, you know like that's weird kalau menurut gue sih aneh aja gitu yeah. karena I think we should all be working together to bring the city start with the city bring the city up and then once we can bring the city up then we will bring the country up yeah yeah that's how i see it. yeah at the end of the day it starts from us as individuals right mm. like what is your objective mm-hmm. of living in a city i mean you know a lot of people ask like you know what why didn't you just go and start ages galaxy somewhere else you know what i mean i mean like yo i grew up here mm. i grew up in bandung man you know what <laughs> i mean like and then my parents moved down to jakarta and then i claim jakarta as my home you know mm. So Indonesia has always been like the place where I I told people where I was from, you know. Mm. I mean, think about it. Like, I'm the guy who, when we go out to eat, they always ask me, uh, "Mau sauce tomat guys?" Like, "Gak, gue mau sambal." You know what I mean? <laughs> And they always like, "Oh, you want sambal?" Like yesterday we went to Bandung. <laughs> yeah. I went to the, you know, the air condition in the train was like blowing, And I was like, "Aduh, kayaknya gue masuk angin nih." Once I get off the train, got off the train, and my fucking back was killing me. <laughs> Went straight out into Circle K or what? Uh, Indomaret. Yeah, and I asked the guy, "What's what is that?" 
ada salon pas kan <laughs> terus dia liatin gue like as if like you know he's like why does this guy want salon pas and how does he even know about it you know yeah, okay, okay. and then he was like ada di, di kasil and I went and got the salon I was like hmm. ada tolak angin juga <laughs> so he's like judging me 1000% you yeah, know yeah. but I'm like whatever man like this is I grew up on okay, like this yeah, it's yeah. a part of who I am hmm. you know yeah. so at the end of the day it is it, it starts from I guess it's, yeah, it starts so from, from where you are so that's why when yeah. we said we wanted to start this brand get up we wanted to elevate Jakarta or let alone Indonesia you know what I mean mm-hmm. like all the inspiration all these brands you know even you or Ben you talking about flipping and all we're looking to the West all the time the West ain't looking here we're looking there what are they doing you know Nike's doing what you know like yeah. Adidas is doing what You never hear any Indonesian brand making something what in on the other end. Nobody knows about who we are. So that means us as a voice is invaluable if nobody cares about one another. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we have so many creatives in Indonesia. We have so much art. We have so much culture. We have so much uh, food knowledge and 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 history to, to, to talk about, right? Yeah. But kita nggak pernah like elevate all those things. We just look to the West and we copy the West and we try to be like the West. But what about owning where you're from? You know what I mean? What about being a little bit proud of where you're from? You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that was where when we started the Independence Day collection, it was how do we communicate certain messages that everybody collectively would agree to? You know what I mean? Yeah. So at the end of the day, it comes down to that. You know what I mean? Like. It's funny how you talk about all these people hate on each other, but the same person hating on you is probably wearing the same f-ing sneakers you're wearing. Yeah. You know what I mean? From the same brand or whatever, right? You're probably into the same type of music, whatever. But then what is that hidden beef that we don't know that we're hating on yeah. for, you know? Kayaknya sih kalau dari gua competitive drive-nya aja. Karena hmm. beberapa orang atau if we see UFC fighters ada beda-beda cara lah untuk yeah. mereka nge-fuel dirinya sendiri yeah. ada yang chill, ada yang tidak to talk trash yeah. kalau Riko talk trash terus jadi <laughs> <laughs> ini emang beef kita, beef kita karena Riko sebenarnya <laughs> like, that's all your fault it's all because of you cuman ya, gue juga setuju yang yang kita harus bareng gitu mm. kita juga 5 bulan, 6 bulan terakhir kok baru kenalan sama brand-brand lokal lainnya juga karena kita nggak di, lagi sih, karena kita nggak diterima di tangkarahan yang situ yeah. jadi kita <laughs> mulai get to know brand-brand yang ini Ooh. dan kita udah mulai kolaborasi juga sih yeah, yeah, which so. is good bicara jadi kita sistemnya kita pengen apply versus everybody yeah. di kota-kota lainnya nih karena yeah. requestnya lagi tinggi uh, gitu kok jadi dengan terus. brand-brand yang kita suka jadi gantian <laughs> jadi juga nggak main sama mereka <laughs> 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 kalau definisi streetwear Yeah. Karena juga berkembang tuh, ada mm. yang, karena gue sama Bian punya filosofi Streetwear tuh kayaknya begini, yeah. kalau menurut kalian tuh streetwear definisinya apa? Kalau sekarang kan banyak yang, they don't really do it, they don't, they don't really live it yeah. Ada businessman mm. ngelihat peluang di sini, gue jadi penjual sneakers yeah. Terus <coughs> langsung bikin merchandise itu, ya we're streetwear yeah. Tapi mereka nggak kenal komunitasnya, yeah. mereka nggak pelaku di hip hop or tato or mm. apa-apa yeah. gitu Kalau dari kalian sendiri tuh, streetwear Yeah, just like Crooks and Castle, yeah. you know, you know they're about they're about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bobby Hundreds, they're about it. Cuma yeah. kan se street tour street tour Supreme ownernya juga dulu skate, cuman sekarang udah ya udah kaya banget, jadi nggak yeah. perlu turun lagi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? I, I I think it's supposed to be people over product always, hmm. you know, but without compromising on product. You know, your product game has to always be at the on best, point. utmost yeah. quality, right? But If you start thinking about the people and what they or like how they they uh, if see I was tell OG like I think what we need to always do is bring value to somebody you know what I mean mm-hmm. like when you wear a t-shirt right don't wear it because oh it's cool and it's hype but wear it because it made you feel a certain way yeah. in the way you think today to go and achieve you something you see what I mean yeah. so like That other day we went to, we were at Union, mm-hmm. right? We were getting drinks at the bar. And this random kid comes by. He's wearing this new whatever it takes t-shirt. And then yeah. he's like, hey, look, he's wearing our shirt. And I was like, I wanted to hit him up, but then he passed, he, he, he walked away. Then he came back, you know? And then I was like, at this time, 
you know, I had a few drinks. I was like, <laughs> yo, cool shirt, bro. <laughs> and then he looked at me, he's like, Angelus Galaxy, whatever it takes. And I was just like, wow, so much confidence boost in this, the way he portrayed yeah. himself. I was like, can I take a photo of you? And then I asked him, where did you get it? Surprise, he did not know that we, we are the guys behind it, you know, but it was just so cool to see yeah. that he loved it. He owned it. He, he was so confident, you know, mm-hmm. and for us, that was, yeah. w- that's what we do it for. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just that you, we brought value to him, you know, and, uh, and yeah, he was a cool kid, you know, mm-hmm. like he was super chill and he told us if we wanted to buy it to go to like <laughs> our daily dose or the good step. And I was like, cool. Thanks for the, thanks for the information, man. <laughs> you know? Kalau menurut lu gimana, Ji? Definisi streetwear dulu. Gini, kalau, um, I agree with him, see, it's like, it's people over products, see, kalau menurut gue, ya. Um, soalnya, because at the end of the day, we're, we're actually, streetwear kan, is basically a part of fashion, kan? Hmm. Gitu, ya kan? I mean, like, okay, the, you you always want to look fly, that's why you try to wear the latest fashion, and all that kind of stuff, right? Tapi kayak streetwear ini, orang-orang jadinya, satu, gue ngerti bagian lo yang dimana, the guy with money, See, oh, this is hype. It's cool and it's expensive. I want to, I want to be a part of it. Yeah, yeah, kan? That's why he bought, he bought it. Tapi he doesn't live the mentality of it. He yeah. doesn't know what it's about and all that kind of stuff, right? So there's that part. Young, he wants to feel like he belongs in this thing. So you buy your way into it. Kind of, yeah. yeah, something like that. And then there's people like, I guess, like people like us, you know, <laughs> just trying to do it like because we we live it. Yeah, we live it. You know, mm-hmm. this is our lifestyle. We we do this, you know, like we won't we won't do stuff even whatever it is that we're communicating we will not communicate communicating something that we don't believe in yeah, yeah. it's always about that for us gitu. like okay another example kayak gini waktu itu like i think like two years ago we went to la yeah. went to la went to the whole the, the strip where it's all like Fair the brands and all that kind of shit. we went to supreme keramaian and there's nothing to buy banyak orang indo loh setelah itu kita juga kayak Gila, malu banget, man. <laughs> so you know funny. what I mean? Because we were just like, wow, yeah. let's uh, <laughs> let's go across the street and just observe. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what we so did. <laughs> we went there, and then we went, we we went, th- we went to Supreme. We went to uh, Rip and Dip. Kita yeah. ke toko ni siapa sih? Race by Wolves and all that. No, no, not, not, not Race by Wolves. Um, yeah. Diamond Supply. Diamond Supply. Diamond Supply. Diamond Supply. 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 Golfing and all that kind of stuff. We all went to that classics and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Pas kita datang ke sana tu kayak oh produk kayak gini apa segala gala. It's not something that we like. I mean, I mean like. Cuma, ada yang kita suka, ada, ada yang kayak like yo. Iya yeah, gitu. Tapi the, the thing is, pas kita masuk ke toko the hundreds, me and him we bought. Yeah. yeah. Gitu. It's because it's the hundreds. Yeah. It's because of what they believe in. It's because of what they stand for. Yeah. That's how we support 100%. Yeah. Right? yeah. Tapi yang lain-lainnya karena kayak kita tahu toko, kita tahu brandnya, terus habis itu produknya juga produknya banyak yang bagus sebenarnya gitu. Yeah. Tapi it's not something that we would connected with. Connected with. with yeah. Gitu. Yeah. It, it, it's similar to like. Um, what do you call it, like in Amsterdam when we went to the Pata shop, yeah. right? Yeah. Like um, the guys from Pata, they're all family oriented, mm. you know what I mean? <clears throat> there's, a, there's a sense of loyalty, the sense of trust, and it, it bleeds into the fans as well, you know what I mean? There's a sense of like, they all want to be a part of this one thinking mentality, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, and we learned this from from from, from yeah. Edson and, yeah. and the and the guys like yeah. the way they carry themselves, the way they put themselves together, the way they communicate their voicing and their messaging, you know. And it's not only that, like like for example, they have the Pata running team, right? Mm. Like Edson loves to run, you know. It's in his yeah. DNA. He likes to run, you know. I've never met somebody who's so passionate about it that he decided to make a whole uh, thing around it and got Nike to support it. But you see what I mean? Yeah. He's living that thing, and it, that motivates me to want to get more into a healthy lifestyle and mm. work out. It's made us change our. I mean, even though we like to drink a lot, but like <laughs> we do, we start eat healthy. We eat well, except this. <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, but we 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 do we do like now we're more aware of like what we're oh, eating. We're too. What what do we you know like drinking water? You yeah. Know I mean, there's just a lot of that where we, it's we're we're getting older as well, right? Mm. So. Our lifestyle needs to get healthier and all, and we we take this from these OGs that are living the brand. You know mm. what I mean? They don't say buy 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 pata. It's like no, just believe in what I'm doing, and if I bring you value, you will eventually. They don't even say believe in what I'm doing. They yeah. just they just show you. They just yeah. They just portray. Yeah, you know. And, and you know, with an OG, like always, like you 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 look up to them. Yeah. And you want to be like them, right? Mm. That's the thing. That's why, like, you kind of. 
you have some some sort of a connection gitu sama mereka yeah. kayak you feel okay I will, like this is I want to be like him when I'm older that kind of thing yeah. Yeah. yeah so then he's pushing out that mentality whatever and we and kena gitu gitu like, yeah. that kind of stuff so yeah. I always believe like it's about you know trying to inspire other people jadi it's not just about the product the product is one the product for me is to catch the attention yeah you you need to make the dope sh- the most fashionable whatever and all that kind of stuff yeah. so the people would okay i like this yeah but once they buy it i do we want them to know about it and know. learn about, and learn about, what, about it. what 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 is it about because there's more to the name than like there's more to the sh- to the shirt yeah. than 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 just the graphic or whatever yeah. there's a story there's yeah. people there's visions there's yeah. uh there is influence you yeah. know what i mean and and that's always been our key perspective on whatever you do yeah. whatever yeah. clothing running a restaurant yeah. uh what do you call it any sort of business that you want to get into it needs to there has to be some sort of uh, output mm-hmm. to giving back and bringing value to somebody that's yeah. how that's how we we're fig- figuring this out yeah. yeah like for example dave from burn ends mm-hmm. in singapore that guy uh, we look at him as mentors because yeah. he runs one of the He, they got 59 best restaurant this year you know what i mean and they invited us to paint a mural in mm. their in their space yeah. mm-hmm. that's a big thing for us that a guy like that would trust us to do this you know but not only that like we've built our working relationship with him over the past few years mm-hmm. but we've also learned how he runs his business and there's a reason why he has these standards there's a reason why there's four months booking in advance just to get to eat here you yeah. know It just doesn't happen like that. Somebody is doing something right, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. To build that demand and when people meet him, they all want to be his friend. It's because that what he portrays as a human being, you know what I mean? It's just he brings value, you know what I mean? Yeah. To to like you're just standing next to him and you'll be like, "Damn, man, I kind of want to be like this guy." <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Cuz that's what he brings, you know? And he speaks through his craft, which is the food and etc, etc. You know what I mean, and and I feel like the more you affiliate yourself and connect yourself and surround yourself with these type of people, it will only make you level up in a good way. You know what I mean, yeah. whatever, whatever business you're you're in. You know what I mean. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. So if you talk about streetwear, I think moral of what we're trying to say is, it's about mentality. You know, everybody's selling f-ing t-shirts, man. Yeah. It's all t-shirts. You know, like s- some people are making in the same factories. Yeah. It's all coming from the same place, so whatever, right? At the end of the day, it's the message and the story that yeah. you're trying to tell, you know. And I feel like a lot of people forget that, you know. Yeah. Kalau untuk kolaborasi nih, mereka udah collab sama brand-brand di Singapura, hmm. Malaysia, apa lagi? Uh, the, the UK. UK. The UK. Yeah. Yeah. Itu yeah. brandnya apa aja dan <coughs> alpas di setiap negara konsepnya beda atau desainnya dari hmm. kalian atau dari mereka produksinya dari kalian atau dari okay. mereka itu gimana? Jadi kita sebenarnya kalau kolab tuh kita banyak sama F&B restaurants. Yeah. Okay. Because that's like a space we love. To yeah, do. because again we like to eat and we like to drink. That's yeah. what it is. Gitu. It's Makanya di situ. <laughs> Jadi kayak sama Bird and itu we collaborate with them a uh, couple of times terus habis itu. Oh, yang di Singapura tuh berarti bukan clothing. Yang mana? Collabnya. Oh no, it wasn't clothing. It wasn't clothing. Oh, yeah, gue kira it clothing. clothing. No, okay. No, it was with the restaurant. It was with a restaurant. We did nice. a, We did a Park Bench Deli collaboration with uh, for the. No, yeah, we were we were the uh, the for the so Park Bench Deli is like a p- restaurant pop up, you know, yeah. like burgers, California burgers, in Singapore. Yeah. So, and we were the one doing the designs of the t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Basically. That's the for the uh, Rosita's Deluxe pop. Rosita's Deluxe, yeah. yeah, that one. Terus Malaysia. Malaysia. Malaysia, we did with a brand. Nah, yeah. so jadi yang Malaysia itu kemarin we went to Malaysia because we got invited to. Kayak kita mau di, ada yang mau stock kita di sana. Gitu. Yeah. Yeah. So basically we got invited and then when we were there, kita ketemu sama this one brand called PMC. Pestle and Mortar. Pestle and Mortar. Yeah. yeah. They're actually like shout out to Hugh. If he ever watches this, <laughs> make him watch it. Hugh, watch yeah. It. yeah. I'll send him. He'll watch this. He'll watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with them, itu kemarin it's about apa namanya? Because when when we hang out with him, like we realize like we have so much in common. Yeah. Similarnya sama dia, okay. him as a person gitu kayak we like the same things, we know the same kind of people and all that kind of stuff. We believe in the same things. Um, cuma there is always this hate, kan? Stigma. Malaysia sama Indonesia, yeah. there's always hate. Yeah. There's Kau always that shit, ya? man. Tapi <laughs> selalu ada, yeah. ada, ada yang aneh with, with that. Whole yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get it, I get it. So, 
Tapi Kemarin, makanan kita is the same. Yeah, so that's the you thing. Know, our language is almost the same. Yeah, you know. Gitu. So it's it's similar lah. We have rendang, they have rendang. Yeah. We have es campur, they have es kacang. Yeah. So Which is the same thing. Like Cuma yo, namanya aja beda. You gitu. just have yeah. you just have kacang to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what it is. So, jadi kemarin sama PMC itu kita kolamnya adalah we're trying to bring the the apa namanya the unity that we're trying mm. to do. Gitu. Yeah. Jadi kayak the the main tagline waktu itu adalah don't let the straits separate. The Malacca Straits. Indonesia and Malaysia is separated by the Malacca Straits, kan? Yeah. Yeah. So don't let the straits separate. That's the that's the main the key message. The key message of it. Gitu. Nah, when we did that, itu we did a tour from Malaysia, launching pertama di oh sorry Singapore. Singapore. Singapore launching pertama di Singapore, then launching di Malaysia, and then di Jakarta. Yeah. Itu. So again, what we were trying to do is that we we're trying to promote a message that okay, we don't have to hate. This was a this was a, a sensitive one. Uh, we communicated our uh, Pancasila, our uh, the the, religion, uh, the, 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 the bird yeah. from the passport, and there are two tigers. And we combine them together, mm. put them on a graphic. The first thing was when we sent this graphic out to our production. She, uh, she was nice enough to be like, "Kayaknya nggak boleh deh pakai kayak gini." And we were like, "Emang kenapa ya?" We're promoting positivity, positivity. You know what I mean? We're not making fun. Nggak apa sih sebenarnya? You, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I, I I respect 100%. Kalau kita we joke around and we make fun of it or whatever i get it you know what i mean like it, it is it is probably yeah. you know like it's disrespectful i get it you know but in this case we're trying to bring two uh, countries together because it's a collaboration from two different cities got yeah. yoda and then you know we we spoke to our lawyer about yeah. it and he said as long as you guys are like not like joking around and it's like a serious campaign i think you guys should be okay And then we put it. We put it on a shirt. You know, we made two colorways. We made a green one to represent our passport, and a red one to represent their passport. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it was it was beautiful. It, the graphic turned out great. It was uh, our Garuda, and there were two tigers together, and it say, had the message in the middle of the chest, like "Don't let yeah. the straits separate." Yeah. It was like the perfect way to unite one another. Yeah. You know what I mean? And. Um, I mean, there was two ways this would have gone down. We felt like, because one, we never get involved into like political related stuff. We're a space inspired brand, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But when I spoke to you about communicating legacy and storytelling and all, sometimes we have to just reel, retract and say, what can we positively do, God? Yo, do I this? Dari situ, this was the one time we did a collaboration that was super left turn mm. and outside of our comfort zone. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it worked out beautifully yeah, at the end of the day. Well. We learned, th- uh, like, uh, Pestle and Mortar uh, family over there, they took care of us. You know, we brought them out here. You know, we hung out. When mm. Singapore, we hung out together. It was dope, you know what I mean? And I think that's what it should be about, like, at the end of the day. We we all were sharing that mentality. We all were proud of both our cities and yeah. hanging out. And yeah. it was just a good time, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Untuk terakhirnya mungkin ada shoutouts. You guys want to give a shoutout to your boys, Oh yeah, of course, girls. everybody, man. Uh, shoutout to Edson, Danny, Tim, Pata. Yeah. Jadi harus nonton nih semuanya nih yang lu mention. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> shoutout um, to Kennedy. Yeah, shout out, bro. To, shout out to Leno. Leno. Yeah. <laughs> Leno. Damo, good news crew, everybody. And uh, the Pestle and Mortar's family. Oh, one more. Main source from UK. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Damien. Damien has always supported our brand, and he's just from been, day one. Yeah, from day one. And every time we have any defects in our product, we have one hour phone calls on like. How much he believes in us and how we let him down, and we always say we're sorry. We're gonna figure it out again, and we're still figuring it out, figuring it out. And yeah. I just love that he cares dearly about us. You know, just yeah. a great guy. And <laughs> shout out to the team, our team. Yeah. And ODD and Vincent, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, guys. All right. Galaxy. Thanks, Urbane. <laughs>